At this stage of the game, you're probably well aware that one of the best ways for you to generate leads for your contractor or home service or just local business in general is by getting your business found on the search engine, particularly Google's. And the best way to do that is by using that Google business profile that Google gives you for free and get it pushed into the three pack of Google because that is where the vast majority of people actually click and look, especially when they look on their smartphone, when they're looking for a local service in their local market. However, what a lot of contractors, home service and local businesses do not understand is how big of a role the website that you connect to the Google business profile plays and where exactly you get placed in the rankings of maps listings. But there is an additional thing that you absolutely must add to the website that you connect to the Google business profile, because that is the specific language that Google reads and understands. And if you do this correctly, you articulate to Google search engine exactly what services it provide in the location you provide those services and it forces google to place your business above your competition and get you placed right in front of the people looking for the services that you provide the moment they're looking for those services what's up there guys this is you once again with get busy llc helping contractors home service business owners and local businesses to understand the internet website design and getting their business found online to generate more leads for their business so i don't want to just waste any time just want to get right into it i want to tell you guys exactly what it is that you need to add to your website because it's the specific language that google reads and understands and really basically overall online what i really strongly believe google actually does in manipulating and trying to figure out which websites to rank, which listings to put above others and all that good stuff. It is links, 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 and more links, backlinks, interlinking, linking on pages. That's all Google reads. When Google crawls websites and website pages, it's crawling the content, it's crawling the structure, it's looking at title tags, meta descriptions. A lot of the crap I talk about here on this channel and try to simplify for people. That's what it's looking for but how it articulates where it's going to rank websites how the how it reads a website is by the links that you place on the pages of websites so what i like what i talk about here on my channel a lot especially lately is building up topical relevancy topical authority in other words like i always try to simplify things uh just basically telling google that you know your shit about your industry inside and out and you do that by building pages upon pages upon pages just on exactly what it is that you provide in that local market. So in this video, I want to share with you guys exactly how you need to structure your website. But more importantly, it's not just the structure alone. It's the linking within the pages, because that's how Google starts to crawl a website and articulate to its, its algorithm. It's the computing or whatever the hell it runs on. That's how it's reading and understanding and how formulating, how it visualizes how you're structuring out the website because I can visualize it right here with my little samples how the website should look to a human to the human eye and how well you know how you to how you say this the architecture of the website is that how you say that I don't know if I said that shit right but I'm going to show you how architecturally to build the website but how do you make sure that Google understands that that's the structure you're trying to to build it out it's by the linking on the pages so let me show you guys a quick example of a website and then I'm going to show you how the interlinking tells Google how to actually read the website and tell it that you are a professional at the services that you provide in that local market because it sees how you've organized your page, how you've organized your services, how you're organized the whole damn website and it's all done by the interlinking of the pages. So let me show you guys really, really quickly and at the end I'll show you guys a live example of this being taking place on an actual website and why it's ranked so well so well on the particular location so let me show you guys real quick so i'm going to show you how you should properly structure out a website let's say that you are a home remodeling contractor this is exactly how i would structure the website in order for google to take the business seriously and see that you are providing enough topical authority topical relevance that you know your stuff when it comes to home remodeling in the particular location you're doing that service in right so Google is going to give you your Google business profile for free. You're going to select the categories. Uh, if you're a home remodeling contractor, uh, the, probably your main category might be general contractor. And then you just pull it, you go on there and select subcategories like, of course, kitchen remodel, bathroom remodel. Maybe you do some deck building. 
um, things like that, right? So what you need to do, what I would tell a, the contractor or home service business owner is to go ahead and just build out your website just like this. Tell the, the, the search engine that you are a home remodeling contractor in this particular location. And then you need to start building out pages of all the services that you provide. For example, this would be, let's say, custom woodwork, trim carpentry, home renovations, room additions, whole home renovations, basement garage conversions, things like that. Maybe do repairs, that sort of thing. Right. So then what you need to do is say you do build decks as well. You selected that as one of the categories in your Google business profile. There's deck builder. So you build out a page for deck builder and then you build pages underneath that to tell Google that, you know, all everything about deck building, all the services you provide underneath that. And of course, you do the same thing for the bathroom remodeling, build pages for all of that and then kitchen remodeling just like this. Right. So to us, to the naked eye, to our human brain here and our human eyes, we see the architecture of the website right here. You see it, how it's structured, how it's outlined. However, Google doesn't see it this way. You have to articulate it and tell it exactly how this website needs to be structured, how you want Google to read it and understand it. And the only way to do that is by linking out the pages. So let me show you exactly how you should link out these pages. So here's my contractor website template. The link's in the description. You can check it out at any time. And I designed this so people can understand how to structure the website, how to interlink the page. So Google understands all the services that you provide and how you categorize everything on the page. So let's say this is the home page for the home remodeling contractor, right? We are the best home remodeling contractor in Fresno, California, blah, 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 right? And then this say this is our secondary category. Let's say this was the deck building page, right? So secondary category. So this will link out to, let's say this is deck builder in Fresno, California. Right. So as this, as this page scrolls down, you're going to see that there is sub services underneath this category. So let's go ahead and pretend that this is a composite deck builder. So you're a deck builder. This page is all about deck building, but you also built composite decks. So you click on this and it goes to a page that tells the customer all about your composite deck building. You see that? So now when Google crawls this website, it's understanding. So it's reading the website and it's seeing the link that points to this page. And as you scroll through this page, it's telling the customer all about the composite deck and all the blah, 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 blah. But then you see that there's a link that points right back to the secondary category of deck builder right here. So you see Google's reading this is crawling and understanding that these pages are all in one main silo, one main category. So let's go ahead and say this is deck repairs. So we provide deck repairs in Fresno, California under the category of deck builder. And then you're going to see that's a link that points right back to the deck building category again. And then you do the same thing with, let's say this is a page for kitchen remodels. Okay. I do kitchen remodels in Fresno, California. Boom, 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 boom. You scroll through here. And then Google sees that there is a link that points to another subcategory underneath bathroom remodels. Is that what I say? Bathroom remodels, right? So we do bathroom remodel to say we do new bathtub installations. So this page is about new bathtub installations in Fresno, California, under the category of kitchen remodels. There's a link that points right back to the kitchen remodel page that obviously clicks back to the whole overall of general contractor home remodeling uh, services in this particular location. You see, it's all the linking that Google reads and it, that's how it sees the structure of your website. If you don't have all those links set up correctly, then you're just gonna confuse Google and you're not gonna be able to tell it all the categories that it's under. So this is a paving contractor in San Jose. This is their main category, paving contractor in San Jose. Now, as you scroll down through here, one of their secondary categories is road construction services. So you click on that. Now you see road construction company in San Jose. We selected another category. And then as you go down through here, you'll see a link that says, let's say private road paving. We click on this. Now this is under the category of road construction services, right? And then when you scroll through here, you're going to see a link that goes right back to the road construction company page once again. 
You see what I mean? I say another one, new pavement installation for roads. New road pavement and installations in San Jose. Now you scroll through here. This is all about new road paving, new road constructions under the category of road construction, which links right back to the road construction company page again, which leads right back to the paving contractor page. Do you see what I'm saying? It's the linking that's telling Google exactly what this company does, all the services it provide, and it's siloed out into the particular services. Again, now, he's, of course, he's a paving contractor. He does road construction, concrete work, paving. So, so naturally, he's going to have a secondary category of asphalt contractor in San Jose, and then he's going to have all those pages is underneath the category of asphalt, like driveways, parking lots, seal coating, striping, and all that good stuff. And then you go here, and it links right back to the contractor page, which naturally links back to the paving contractor page of San Jose. And for this reason, he's ranking extremely well in the map listing as a three pack for a lot of the search terms that he wants to get found for, like driveway installation, parking lot repairs, driveway repairs, asphalt paving contractor, asphalt paving, all that good stuff. And that's why he's ranking extremely well because we are articulated to Google, not just by building out the pages, but linking all the pages correctly because that's the language that Google reads online. So there you go. I hope I didn't confuse the hell out of you with that. I hope I try to make that as simple as possible to understand uh, because it did take me a while to understand all of this stuff, like so all the interlinking and the website structure and all this other stuff. And what I've come to realize now is just that's just the way that Google reads websites. Yes, when you build out a page, Google crawls it and reads it and understands what it's all about. But if, if there's no link going anywhere else, it seems that it sees it as the end of the road. That's it. So if you build a page for, like example, that one was a, a road construction company, Google crawls, but first of all, it crawls that it's a paving contractor in general, so it crawls the website and it sees a link that points to road construction. Google's algorithm starting to see, okay, this guy's a paving contractor, he does additional things. Now that page is links out to six other pages about road construction in general. Now Google's really understanding all the stuff that this guy knows about just paving in general. So the same thing for the, every industry, it could be a junk removal business, right? You could do select the category of junk removal services, and then you select a subcategory of debris removal services that branches out into six different debris types of debris, construction debris, yard waste debris, storm waste debris, things like that. But the better you kind of spider out the pages and link them accordingly so that Google understands what you're trying to articulate to the search engine, it's going to understand everything that you're trying to build out. It's going to be able to see the architecture of your website and the structure of it. It's the only way that it can see it is by the linking on those pages. So I hope, again, I hope I didn't confuse the hell out of you, but that's pretty much all you need to do to tell Google exactly what you do and all the services that you provide. So if you want to learn how to do all of this stuff on your own, I have a, a template, instructions, everything you need to do to build out your own website and get it all this thing dialed in and build a really, really well optimized website. It's going to push your business profile to the top of the search results. If you're a contractor, home service business owner, or a local business owner just doesn't want to deal with any of this stuff, but understand the importance of getting found online, you could click on the description below, book an appointment with me, or just take a look at my pricing sheet, see what it costs to get something like this going for your business. Um, but other than that, that's all you really need to do to rank on Google. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of tedious work. It sucks, but it's necessary in order to make that happen. And the crazy thing about it all is this. It, there's a part of me that always thinks that Google, they, they know all these rules. They know everything that you need to do to rank. And there's a part of me that always tells that I could tell Google doesn't really want you to know. Google's banking on you not figuring this out because they just want you to spend money on advertising. You can check out a video. I talk about this more right here. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.